Welcome back to Island the Box Catering. It's your girl Nicole. Tonight's dinner is going to be some seasoned rice along with some curry seafood. So I have my pot already boiling with the water for the rice. I'm going to use some goya, some thyme, some salt, as well as a spoon of butter, cooking spoon I should say. I'm going to just clean up my salmon here. So I'm going to be using salmon, shrimp and scallop. Just making sure everything is washed properly. Some curry powder, onion powder, black pepper, minced garlic, and allspice. And yes, some chicken bouillon because I don't have any fish bouillon. See that I chopped up my sweet peppers. These chopped up my onions and my smaller sweet peppers as well. I'm going to also add some okra to this pot. I'm just using a little bit there, chop those up. And I'm also going to be using some scotch brownie pepper. Now you can use any amount you like and as well as some scallion. Gonna add some more Goya all-purpose seasoning and some more thyme. Mix it all in, get your pot hot, and you're going to throw some oil in the pot and make sure that you burn your curry. Cause you don't want your belly around like Dunjur or fall, you feel me? So we're gonna just throw the curry in the pot right here, so. And I'm going to add some more minced garlic to the pot. And I'm gonna stir that in. Make sure you burn the curry like I says, cause you don't want your belly around like a river. Okay, all right once you do that what I'm going to do is just throw the seasonings in the pot along with the okra Because I want to soften the okra just a little bit. Don't want it too crunchy I like my okra well cooked now if you're looking for a caterer in the Massachusetts area Link me up at islandfood876 at gmail.com and like share and subscribe on my youtube channel Island in the box catering and as well on my Instagram page add some weight to that all right, so now that I feel that my okra is a little bit cooked more, I'm going to add my salmon steak to the pot as well as, better yet, as matter of fact, the whole entire thing I'm going to add to the pot. The scallops and the shrimp as well too. So I'm just going to let this cook and I'm going to add some more water to this. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter. Okay, and that is regular salted butter here. And I'm going to let this cook for the next 20 uh, about 20-22 minutes because salmon steak is very thick so I want it to cook right through. You see that lesser? Oh my goodness if you guys can just smell this. I, I want you guys to try this recipe at home and tag me. I would love to see what you've done. Alright so let's make a salad in the meantime. I'm going to add some spinach here. I'm going to also be using some cucumbers. Now you can leave the skin on, to, on your cucumbers or you can peel it. Uh, for me I like to leave some of the skin. I'm going to peel that slice right down the middle and slice it across again cut that up and then once you cut up your salad here your cucumbers you're going to also add some uh, some avocado and as well as some shredded carrots and a piece of lemon or salad dressing anything of your choice now this is all done ready to go see the rice done everything sato let's get this food dished all right let's plate this out i can't wait to dive in so you can see here what we have. All right, so I'm gonna try to plate this food real fancy because I want it to be very appealing to my audience. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because it's not going down fancy. You see that salmon steak? It looks so delicious. I can't wait to dive in. I was so tempted to teeth one of the shrimp them, but myself, wait, Nicole, wait, wait. Patience is a virtue. And there you have it. Try this recipe at home. Tag me and let me know. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you for joining me. Bye.